Hello, this is Osman, and today I'm going to show you how to use uh, the uh, SDK Assistant to create your mod for Rift XR game. So first of all, make sure to download the uh, the, uh, the SDK Assistant and make sure to unpack it inside your plugin folder and uh, leave it here. So make sure that this uh, uplugin file is in this path. Sometimes when you uh, when you un uh, unzip a, for, uh, a file, it will have like mod validator. Then you will have a mod validator inside here. Then you enter. Then you find those. You need to make sure that those are in this path here. Plugin mod validator. Okay. Then if everything is installed correctly, you will find this tab here. The mod uh, the RefXR tools. So. So to start using this mod, you will have to first of all right click an animation IK retargeter so by getting the retargeting, select the IK rig and name it uh, example or name it uh, uh, tutorial IK rig and create a new one uh, which is the IK retargeter tutorial IK rig uh i can retard and save both of them then open the i can rig and provide our mesh and save and close you don't have to do anything inside of this asset as we used to do uh if you see if you saw the the documentation so now open the uh the other asset which is this one and here i'm going to Search for the RIP XR UE5 FV. And here I'm going to search for tutorial IK RIP. And I'm going to save. You can see that there is a lot of warnings, but the, as the SDK assistant will fix everything for us. So let's go to RIP XR tools. Before we do this, we need to recap the steps. We imported our avatar. We got the mesh and the physics asset and the skeleton after we import it. This will happen automatically. We manually created the IK retargeter and the IK rig and uh, associated our mesh inside of them. And then after we done all of these, I'm going to go to RIFXR tools and SDK assistant. And here you will provide your mesh like that. The tool will try to uh, try its best to uh, uh, find the names for the bones uh, automatically. Uh, sometimes it misses. Uh, it depends on how uh, the bones are named. If it uses a common names, it will do a good job finding the names for you. And uh, if the if you have some weird names, it sometimes will miss. So you have to double check. So let's double check. So the root is Akula. It's Akula. The pelvis is hips. Is hips. And the chest bone here is the chest bone. That's okay. And let's go to right shoulder. Let's see if it's uh, if the shoulder is named right shoulder. So we got this is fine. Okay, let's see. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. And the right shoulder, left shoulder. Okay, that's great. Let's see the upper arm. Yeah, the upper arm is not found. It says uh, we should we, we need to name this as right. Arm and this should be left arm, okay. And uh, for the hands, it didn't find the hands, so we need to make sure that we have the correct hand names and bone names, which I think they are named wrist, yeah, left wrist. So this is going to be the left uh, wrist and this is going to be named as right wrist. Make sure that everything is named okay. And the feet are ankle. The thighs needs to also uh, be renamed. So the thighs that you remember, it's called left leg. So I'm going to rename this as left leg. And oh, this is going to be the right leg, and this is going to be the left 
name. Just make sure the thigh is this one here. So after getting every names correctly, you can close this one. And the second thing to take note of that these chains names, you don't have to change them unless you have a mod already and you want to analyze it. Otherwise, you don't have to change anything here. So after putting our names and putting our mesh, let's put our IK rig. So put the IK rig and let's select our IK retargeter and put our IK retargeter. Then we prepare uh, our mod. Now, if I went to uh, analyze it, uh, always, whenever you prepare, you need to press the analyze button to see if everything went correctly. So let's see uh, the mesh report. It says we, we are okay. Let's go to the Algeria report, which it says everything is okay. And it, it gives us uh, a potential errors like this bending knees. If it, this happened, you will fix it by providing an angle offset here and everything will be fine. And the IK retargeter uh, uh, report, it says everything is okay. Uh, we have the crouching. Uh, we have passed all of the uh, all of the tests, and we have also some common issues here. If those happen to you, you will provide an, uh, an offset and apply it. So here, like this one, she has like um, a fifty degrees uh, up here. So you need to give it a negative 50 degrees. So we'll give it a negative 50 degrees and apply it if this happened to you. So now we can minimize this and you can see uh, every asset is okay. So let's see if the IK rig is, all, is set up correctly. So you can see that we have the chains, we have the solver, we have the settings. Let's select uh, the hand and move it. Yeah, it, it correctly moves. Uh, we can see that in the tools, we have in the IK report, the, this section here says the expected result. Moving the head goal won't move the head mesh. So let's see if this is true. Let me, yeah, it's true. And rotated it, should rotate the head, and this is true. This is meaning we are okay. Let's uh, raise this one, and it rises directly without any bending uh, left or right. So we are good. So the IK rig is set up correctly. Let's go to our IK retargeter. You can see that uh, it says we got, uh, this is the only warning that cannot be automated because we need to uh, open the asset itself. So let's go to the IK uh, rig. And the issue is that we have a, a, a joint that is less than three bones. So this is actually due to our head chain starting from the neck and we have only neck and head. We need a third bone. So instead of starting from the neck, we start from the parent of the neck, which is the chest, the chest bone. If we save this one and go here, you can see that everything now is okay. So your character is trying to match the, uh, the hand locations and that's great. So let's add some offset just to see. Now, if we, uh, if we let, let me go slower. You can see that we have the hands like this. They have like a, some, deg uh, th some degrees here. It's not straight. This is will cause that in VR, they will be aiming down. We need the hand to be straight. So to fix this, you can go to the uh, tool in the IK rig, yeah? Oh, in the IK retargeter. And we will see that this issue is actually here. We have this. So I'm going to give it like maybe um, negative, negative uh, 30 degrees and apply it. So let's go to retargeter. Let's make, 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 oh, not, uh, uh, this, okay, negative 30, I think it's too much. So let's give it uh, negative 20 degrees and apply the offset and come here. Now is the hand is looking great. So the thing, the, the next thing to, stay, to test here is going to play the idle animation. You can see that the hands are uh, pointing upward. So this way we need to fix it by going to here and see we have a, we need to give it like a, a fall offset, like 50 degrees. I know it's 50 degrees because I made this mod manually in the past. So I know I had this issue and this is the fix. So I'm going to apply it and come here. You can see that the hands are now looking down.
So let's uh, see here. I think we need to add actually more degrees to this. Uh, so let's add, let's add more here. I think 20 is not okay. Let's minus 30 degrees and offset. Come here. Okay, this looks good. So this means we have finished the mod. And you can see that it uh, actually took like a matter of minutes. Unless I was I, I was talking, uh, it uh, it took more time. But uh, if I wasn't talking, I will just uh, put my asset and snap snap. And uh, the only manual thing you need to do is just if you have two uh, or uh, a chain, a head chain consists of two bones. You need to add a third bone by selecting the neck parent, and uh, you will be okay. So our mod is uh, finished in this uh, stage. Now we need to add the final asset to finalize the creation. So miscellaneous data asset and select the UGC data asset avatar, select this one and name this DA underscore uh, tutorial avatar and now open this one. We need to provide the retargeter and we need to provide our mesh and save. And now this mod is ready to be uh, packed. So the packaging settings are actually in the documentation. So this video was not uh, aimed to show you how to package it, but I will walk through uh, it fast. So let's go and go to Project Launcher. If you don't have this profile, you will have to create them. A profile that would be the default profile for the project and then the packaging for the mod. So the default profile for the project, you will have to, first of all, make sure you select this project, the project from here, the RIF SDK project, which is this project. And here you will need to select this. This will be uh, on the fly. You need to change it by the book and select your platform, which is Windows. Here, if you don't have to touch this, you will go here in the release settings, you need to create a release version of, uh, of the game for distribution. This release version will be uh, the base for the mods to, uh, when we want to create the mods. So the final thing we need to do is package and store locally. You need to make sure that you have this ticked. After doing this profile, you will create the, ne the next profile and go to the settings and we'll do almost the same, which is by the book and the platform is Windows. But here we won't tick this thing, but we will tick a generated patch and build a DLC. And he will provide the name for the plugin that we created. So the plugin was created is called example. So I'm going to put my example here, say example. And make sure to have include engine content. And here, uh, look at these settings and just copy it to yourself. Tick this one, tick, 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 and so on. Make sure this is shipping and package and store locally. After you do this, you will see here it's giving you a warning that you can't run this uh, profile. That because you need to first run the custom profile for the project itself. And this should happen only one time. So you don't need to do it for each mod. You will do it once to prepare your environment to package uh, mods. So run this profile and wait for it to end. And then this will be available to be pressed. Then press this one and we are the, pack the, the package will be finished. Then you will just uh, zip the result and upload it to Mod.io. There is a step-by-step -step guide on the uh, our uh, in the riff uh, in the documentation. You can follow that and uh, uh, have fun.